So uh, this video is based on your assignment number 24 and we were doing ratio and proportion in the previous two videos we had done ratio and then we had followed it up with proportion. Now we are going to do uh, sums, few sums based on ratio and proportion. Let's take an example here. Let's say we've got two people here, A and B. And A and B are sharing something in the ratio 3 is to 5. That means when A is getting 3, B is getting 5. But then there is a third person C. And when I compare B and C, it seems that when B gets 4, C is getting 7. So two ratios are given to me. And the first comparison is between A and B. And the second one is between B and C. But the question here is, what happens to the ratio when I compare A, B and C together? So what I'm going to find out is, what is A is to B is to C? Now keeping this in mind, I know that A is to B, as given in the question, is supposed to be from here, A is to B is supposed to be 3 is to 5. So I take that, I take that to be to be equal to 3 is to 5. And I take the second one, which is B is to C, which is given as 4 is to 7. When I look over here, you can see in the first ratio there is a B and there is a B in the second ratio also. Now, these two are supposed to be equal. B always has to be equal. But you, when you look at it over here, these 4 and 5 cannot be equal. So, I have to make two of them equal. The easiest way to do that is to find the LCM between 5 and 4. So, the LCM of 5 and 4 is supposed to be 20. So let's write that down over there and it's 20 here. Now, you can see what I have done is I have made this B and B similar now. B and B has become 20 and 20. When it becomes 20 and 20, definitely A will change. So what I do is 5 will go 4 times to 20. 5 is going 4 times. Multiply the first one with 4. So 5 4s are 20, 4 3s are 12. So I get my first number there. I go to the next one. 4 will go 5 times and 5 7s are 35. So now I have a complete one. So this 12 automatically becomes A. This 20 is B. This 20 here is B. And this 35 here is C. So, therefore, I can say that A is to B is to C will be equal to, what was A? A was 12. Is to, B was supposed to be 20. Is to, C is supposed to be 35. So, this is where I have two different ratios given and then I have to find the ratio in terms of three people. I have another example here. The ratio between A and B is given as 1.5 is to 3.5 and the ratio between B is to C is 5 is to 6. But this time I'm comparing not A is to B is to C but I'm only comparing what is A is to C. So in this case. <coughs> now, for the first one I have is A is to B. <clears throat> A is to B can also be written as A divided by B. A divided by B, so which is equal to A is 1.5 divided by 3.5. Going to our decimals, both can be shifted one step to the right. So that it becomes 15 upon 35. 
15 upon 35 can both be divided by 5. So this will become 3. 5 3 is a 15 and 5 7 is a 35. So I can say that A by B is 3 by 7. Similarly, if I go to the next one, which is already given, B is to C will be equal to same as B upon C, which I can write it as 5 upon 6. Now taking this, over here I can say, therefore, A upon B multiplied by B upon C. Now I have to find the value of this. Now why am I doing this? I am, according to a question, I am supposed to find A by C. Now if you look at it over here, B and B can cancel. One is in the numerator, one is in the denominator. Two of them can cancel. So I will actually be left with A upon C. A upon C would mean A is to C. So that's why I am finding this out. Now, what was A upon B? Now, let's have a look at that. Um, sorry. A a upon B was 3 upon 7. So I take that as 3 upon 7 multiplied by what was B upon C. B upon C was 5 upon 6. I can cancel here. 3 1s are 3. 3 2s are 6. So my final answer is 5 upon 7 2s are 14. Now what was this? When I was cancelling B and B, I was actually getting A by C. And A by C, I can say, is 5 by 14. So therefore, I can say that A is to C is equal to 5 is to 14. Thank you.